What's up everybody? 21 days later, the Daniel fast is over and I feel amazing. It's like a spiritual, physical uh, reset of the body and it hurt at first. Uh, going vegan plus no sugar plus no meat, well that's redundant. Um, my body was in shock for the first couple of days and I will confess, I did at times when I felt hungry I did cheat and indulge in the approved snacks like tater tots and potato chips. And uh, thank you Lord for your forgiveness for that. But what it did overall was it taught me that if I say the word I need, I need, and it doesn't end in the word G-O-D, then I'm engaging in idolatry. So every time I would tell myself I need sugar, oh, I need some dairy, I need some meat, um, I'm engaging in idolatry because the truth is I really don't need those things so uh, Choo choo train Okay. And as I as I reflect on what life is going to be like after these 21 days I'm gonna continue to no candy No things I don't need and if, if the biggest takeaway I got out of this thing was teaching me, reminding me to uh, not make things matter more that don't matter most, i.e. idolatry, then I'm going to keep doing this with, uh, I'm, I'm giving up candy, um, I am continuing to be uh, beer free, I've actually, I've, I haven't had a beer since August 2016, praise God, um, it's teaching me, uh, I'm a meat eater, so I'm, I'm back on the meat, but just things I put in my body, I want, I want it to reflect my, my heart, and my heart is throughout the day, um, I don't need anything from anybody, all I need is him. So it taught me that I don't, you know, knowing that I don't need sugar and I don't need these luxury foods and these choice foods taught me spiritually that I don't need anything from my wife. She doesn't owe me anything. My kids don't owe me anything. My um, neighbors don't owe me anything. My boss doesn't owe me anything. Nobody owes me anything. I am completely set free to love on people, not respecting a pat on the back or anything reciprocal. I don't need anything. Physically, from a, from a physical um, standpoint, man, I started to feel it. Like, <laughs> my, my farts didn't even stink anymore after, after getting off dairy and, and meat products. I jumped on the, on the pull-up bar, I think it was at day 18, and as my buddy Chad is there to witness, I hadn't worked out in a while, because I, I was just recovering from, from not, you know, the hunger pangs. But I jumped on a pull-up bar at day 18, and I just cranked out five man-ups just like that, with, with no problem. I felt I felt awesome. I felt awesome in jujitsu. Well, if you don't know what a man up is, it's when you do a, a pull up, and then you and you throw yourself over the bar. Cranked out five, and then after that, I cranked out thirty pull ups in a row. Um, just just a byproduct, just just the benefits of of cleansing the body from all the from all the junk. So, um, with that, I think I'm going to continue this every year. I'm going to do this annually to, to kick off the new year, but I'm definitely going to continue this daily because I need, I need the constant reminders of what I need and what I don't need. So praise God. I hope your Daniel fast goes well and I'll see you next time. Fabcasters. Peace.